Thing and Nikki Alden will come over and join us here. Have a seat, Nikki. We can throw this on. First year Wildcat trading in her red for blue. Now here. Sorry. That's okay. No, you don't have to be sorry about that. We're happy to have you. Let's uh, get her helped out here and turn this around. Boy, a big day for you guys, and it was a very nice couple of wins. Uh, kind of a tough pitcher's duel in game one, Nikki, and then the offense exploded in game two. Now they brought in the second pitcher in game two, and you guys hit her. What was the difference? Game one, you didn't hit her. Game two, you did. Um, I think we, we saw her drop ball, and we really adjusted to that. And then we really took advantage of the first pitch strike. Because I know we were letting some of them go, mm -hmm. um, so we adjusted there too. Yeah, it seems like you guys were attacking mm -hmm. later in the in the second game. So was that something you guys talked about in between game one and game two, or was it kind of an adjustment in game two on the fly when they changed pitchers? How did that all come about? I think um, once we started hitting her in the second game, then girls built off of that, and then um, we just kept hitting. Yeah, yeah. it gets <laughs> contagious, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. It, is that what happens in your estimation for what you've seen, at least with this group? Uh, a lot of good hitters, but you start to find a rhythm and you put the pressure on the pitcher when it rains it pours sometimes yes. what was it about the offense that made you guys start to hit all of a sudden later in the game I think it's just that hitting is contagious like once we start hitting we'll keep going and we'll make hard outs um, if we're down then usually we'll stay down but once that first person like makes a hard hit then we just build off of that you were really really hitting the ball <laughs> hard there at the end of the game Thank a couple you. of big hits uh, well no you did all the work yeah <laughs> it's what was it about uh, just those late couple of innings where you guys were feeling the confidence? Did you just take a deep breath and start to relax a little bit and just find a groove? As yeah, you, well, you once, said? I, once I saw someone else hitting, like, mm -hmm. I built off of that. Yeah. And I, I got more confidence from them. How have you liked it here at Nova this year, transferring and joining this group, uh, joining a veteran group that's made the playoffs, can hit? It's been a lot of fun, I'm guessing. Yes, I love it. I love being a part of it. Every, every single girl like, brings something different to the table, and I love it. How about the back-and-forth nature of Game 2, where each team took the lead back and forth, and they were all with two strikes, mm -hmm. with two outs, uh, big hits by everybody. What was that like kind of in a back-and-forth affair today? It was kind of exciting. Um, I know we talked about like being nervous and being excited, and I think we we kind of got aw got away from the nervousness and got excited and just kept going. Yeah. yeah. As you guys go into tomorrow and then St. John's, it's uh, it's another tough Big E series coming up. So for you, what's the key to having a good week and making sure you pick up a couple more wins? I think we just we want to get some games in just so we can prepare for St. John's. Um, but we're definitely just going to focus on the game tomorrow. One game at a time. Yep. Yeah. Right. And overall, what can it do now, finding a rhythm, now that you'll have a huge homestand coming up and lots of games to get acclimated here? How will that feel? I, it'll feel great. Uh. Pretty simple, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nikki, great game. Great to have you here at Thank Villanova. You. And thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, Nikki Alden on the Nova Nation postgame show.